my name is Matt and this is me demonstrating an alphabet I created for quick and easy layout to do on the fly if you don't have the time or means to prepare a pattern. So this is me laying out some guidelines, the Stabilo pencil. Usually what I do is I make a couple quick marks for spacing and then I start lying out the vertical bars of the letters. And it's a very boxy, square, rigid um, structure. And it's easy to sketch out. Then once you add the twists and the little half serifs, it adds some style to it and it looks pretty good. Every sign writer has his go-to alphabets that are in his head and he can just bang out easily. And I wanted to create a new one for me. Something that's uh, very legible but has some style to it and most importantly, easy to lay out on the fly. It's designed so that it looks good with just, you know, one stroke, but obviously you can add outline, 3D, drop shadow, bevel, all kind of bells and whistles to trick it out and make it look better. I'm using a Kafka quill lettering brush. Uh, I like them. They hold their snap, they take a lot of abuse. I'm not good with taking care of my brushes, so they can take a beating. The mall stick I'm using is homemade. It's one of those telescopic magnets you get from Harbor Freight. And I just put a piece of rubber at the end. It's good, it uh, can adjust the length. I have some others, but uh, this one folds down very compact, maybe six inches, and uh, it's good for taking on jobs or having on the road. I'm painting a upright script below it. The letter style above it is pretty rigid, so something that has a little more organic feel to kind of play off each other will look nice on the bottom. And you can see the script I use, it's all downstrokes. I pull all the downstrokes and it helps with spacing and keeping everything uniform.
and then I go back and I add the upstrokes, the connectors. Now we'll throw it in fast motion, add some complementary colors with the border, put a nice Kansas City teal in there, black drop shadow, Add a black wavy line to the border. Kind of tie it all in. Some vertical stripes to give it some body, a little graphic element. A little drop shadow on the letter craft. And then some Shazams or Ghetto Blasters or Starbursts, everyone has different names for them. Something to put in the background, kind of subtle. And then uh, Kansas City Teal pinstripe in the center of the letters. It's a quick and easy way to kind of add some style to them and tie it in with the border. And that is my alphabet that I named Tito after our family dog. This sign was a suggestion from my buddy, and it appeals to pretty much everyone. This can go in a tattoo shop, a barber shop, a motorcycle shop, hot rod shop, low rider shop, whatever. Pretty simple message. Talk shit, get hit.
fifth YouTube video. I hope you dug it and I'll be making more.